In today's video guide, we shall look at how to upgrade Windows 7 to Windows 10 without using the media creation tool. We don't have to install the TLS 1.1 and the TLS 1.2. We shall also not be losing any of our data that we have. So the first step you are going to do is click on Google Chrome, then head on and type download windows 10 and hit enter so when you get to this make sure you look for the link that has download windows 10 this image there has to be the word iso file i'll click on that link and then we are going to be redirected to the microsoft download page for windows 10 I'll translate my page to English so that we can be on the same page. So uh, if I scroll down, you can see that I have looking to install Windows 10, download the tool now and update now. So our goal is to look for the Windows 10 ISO file. So I'm going to go and click the three dots. Then I'm going to go and look for, develop, uh, I'll go to more tools. Then I'll look for developer tools. Then under the developer tools, click on the three dots again, then go to more tools and more tools and look for network conditions. Click the network condition, then you're going to have something like this. Then look for user agent, then come and uncheck this. Then under the user agent, we're going to go and look for the Android 4.02. Then come ahead, go back to this side, refresh your page. When you refresh your page, I will translate to English so that we can be on the same page. Translate to English. Okay, uh, when you refresh your page, then you're going to come and have something like this, Windows 10 2023 update. Then I'm going to click on select the model I want. Then I'll click on Windows 10 multiple edition, confirm. Then I'll go and select the product language that I need. I'll look for English United States. Then I'll click confirm. Then you choose 64 bit or 32 bit. I'll click on 64 bit since I'll be upgrading my PC, which is a 64 bit. But if your Windows 7 is a 32 bit, then you can go for 32 bit. So I'll click 64 bit and it's going to start downloading. So three minutes, then we shall pause the video. After the downloading, then we shall continue. Uh, our Windows 10 ISO file has been downloaded. Then uh, the next step we are going to do is click a new tab and then say download virtual, virtual clone and you hit enter. Then go to the first link, the one that has virtual clone drive, open that link, then scroll down and look for download. Okay, so now we have virtual clone downloaded and then we have the Windows 10 ISO. So I'm going to install the virtual clone. Then I agree, next, next. Okay, so we are finishing installing virtual clone. Then the next step we are going to do, click here, then I'll show in folder. Okay, so this is our Windows 10. I'm going to right click, then I'm going to say mount virtual clone. So that I've finished mounting. You can come and click even your computer here, and then you are going to see the mounted Windows 10. Okay, so I'm going to right click and open. Then uh, after opening, the next step you're going to do is go and click on setup. 
hold the shift key on your keyboard shift key then right click then come and click on copy as path copy as path remember to get that you have to hold the shift key and then you click on copy as path then when you finish press the windows button and type c m d right click run as administrator and i'll click yes so when you finish that the next thing you're going to type is i'll try to maximize this then i'll come and right click and type paste then you put a space after putting the space slash type auto then space upgrade and hit enter then uh, it is going to start preparing checking for uh, updates then the rest of the process is going to move on so uh, we shall let it prepare install and upgrade then uh, I'll fast forward it so that you can see all the process then we shall see how we finalize with our upgrade this process took an estimate of about 30 minutes so be patient please and sometimes it depends on the specifications for your computer some it may be faster than others it may be slower uh, okay now you can see that our windows 7 has been upgraded to windows 10 without losing any of our files you can see that we still have our files we have the windows 7 activator that we had all these same files even the same programs that we had google chrome firefox and virtual clone so thank you for watching uh, the video guide please if you have any question or if you have any queries if you have anything that does not work out for you please comment in the section below i'll come back and give you feedback Thank you and goodbye.